Welcome back to my new video. This is Motion Designer and in today's video, I'll show you how you can create this restaurant or food promo intro and it's gonna look something like this. Alright, here I am in After Effects and if you can see the project panel, I have the assets which contains all the images and a transition pack folder which you can download it from my store which is uh, this and it's free and also you'll have to download another animation preset which is also free and if you don't have time to create your own you can buy this premium template i would really appreciate that all right with that out of the way let's get started with today's tutorial so create a new composition which is uh five second long and rename this bg1 and hit ok and i'll go inside the assets and I'll find an image of a restaurant, which is this. Scale it down to fit the composition and I'm gonna pre-compose this, Control Shift and C and rename this to BG Image 1. And move all attributes, hit OK. Hit S on the keyboard, set a keyframe and go to the last and I'll set the scale to 110 and you have a scale animation. All right, let's go to the transition pack. Before doing that, let's organize the project by creating a new folder and rename this to precoms and select this comms and drag and drop it inside the precoms. All right, so I'll go and select this transition one, drag and drop it on top of that layer. And this is the transition pack. Right click, time, enable time remapping and scrub through the timeline and find a place where the transition ends maybe somewhere here set a keyframe and if you scrub through you can see that it's transitioning out of the frame so we don't want that so select this keyframe delete it select this and set the track mat to all format and you have this so i'm gonna duplicate these layers Control d and go to the effects and presets and search for fill drag and drop it on that image comp and set this to black like this hit T to bring up the opacity 80% on the opacity and select both these layers and offset it a little bit here so I'm gonna repeat this but this time select this BG BG image 1 Control D to duplicate or drag and drop it inside this and S on the keyboard and I'll set this to 110 set a keyframe and go to the last and 100 and go inside this image too I'm gonna replace this image with another image so I'm going to assets and I'm gonna find another image which is this drag and drop it hold down alt on the keyboard drag and drop it and that will replace this and you can reposition or scale it and go back to BG1 and you have another image here go to transition pack and I'm gonna select transition number four drag and drop it like we did before right click time enable time remapping and scrub through the timeline and find a point where the transition ends over here set a keyframe and delete the last keyframe and you can select both this layer and offset it somewhere here and set this track mat to alpha map all right so i'm going to duplicate another copy of this you know i'm just repeating the same process over and over again so fill 
and change this fill to black and what's next is hit T and lower the opacity to 80% and there you have it all right let's create a new composition again and this time I'm gonna rename this to intro and hit OK and I'm gonna drag the BG one inside that so our BG is ready and all we have to do is create the text so restaurant name and move it somewhere here and duplicate it and maybe I'm gonna change it to motion designer right so and duplicate it and promo right center it by the way I'm using this font which is free you can download it from the description down below like this all right so I'm gonna grab this rectangle tool with with no stroke and a fill of you know any color you like which is something like green all right draw a box around this restaurant name and move it below all the text layers and maybe I'm gonna change this restaurant name to a black color text so what I'm gonna do is pick a pen tool with no fill and just a stroke of I'm gonna choose this color and I'm gonna draw a box like this what I'm gonna do now is animate this hit s and make sure you unlock this constraint proportion and scale to zero I'm gonna start from zero to a few frames ahead and set it to 100 select all the keyframes F9 for easy ease all, right, all I have to do is duplicate the shape layer and move this text just below the shape layer and select this and change it to alpha mat for the text and you have this mask all right so what i'm going to do next is animate this uh, stroke and which is this rename this to stroke all right so this add a trim path trim path and i'm going to animate this from a zero from here so keyframe and 100 right so hit f9 and I'm gonna duplicate this stroke right click transform and flip horizontal and very easily you can create that all right once you install these free animation presets from my store you'll have this motion designer text animation preset here in the presets panel and I'm gonna drag and drop this slide from above to this motion designer all right so maybe somewhere somewhere around here I'm gonna drag and drop it here and this is the design and I'm gonna select the promo and slide from above slide from below sorry slide, slide from below to the promo and that is it all right so select all these layers except for the bg1 and offset so that the intro comes in and you have the text like that all right let's create the main food slide by creating a new composition which is uh i'll select 1500 by 500 make sure you unlock this and rename this food one hit okay and i'm going to create another composition which is a full HD 1920 by 1080 and I'll rename this to food image one hit OK and right away I'm gonna drag and drop the food image inside that composition and scale it to fit the composition size something like this and I can close this out go to food one and drag and drop that food image one inside the composition and let's organize this drag and drop this inside the pre-comp comp and I'm gonna scale it down to 50% or so all right I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool with no stroke and I'll select a color white color I'm gonna draw a rectangle and I'm gonna animate the scale of this food set a keyframe 
and go to the last 52 to um, I don't know uh, 55 something like this and move it down something like this right and I'm gonna draw a rectangle again and to the size of the image here and I'm gonna rename this to mask and change this track mat to alpha mat so it stays within that mask all right so let's animate the shape layer go to rectangle and transform rectangle or maybe pen behind tool click this and move it somewhere here and I'm gonna transform and scale it from here set a keyframe for the scale and set it to zero and move few frames ahead and change this to 100 oops 100 all right so f9 for easy ease all right so let's go and animate the position of this foot hit p on the keyboard set a keyframe set a keyframe here and set this and drag this down so that it comes from the bottom like this select all the keyframes f9 and you can retime the animation and you know you can drag this and start the animation from here so select the text tool and type in your text duplicate it and a dollar I don't know 40 and I'm gonna duplicate another copy control D and move it here or maybe you know draw a box and change it to to light go and grab some dummy text dummy text here and copy this go back to after effects and draw a box paste it and lower the size of the text and the spacing and there you have the text now what you have to do is animate the foot which is very easy very easy go to the animation presets and go to motion designer text animation presets and pick this bounce from above drag and drop it and I'm gonna select this 40 and bounce from below and you might want to move it somewhere here and you know you can offset the timing of the animation by the way okay and maybe right right after the food comes out i want this description to appear so i'm gonna go inside this animation preset slide from 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 right so set uh, drop drag and drop it on that text and you have this Control n to create a new composition and rename it slide one hit okay and we're gonna assemble inside this so drag and drop this food one inside this and what you have is this or maybe you can scale it down a little bit and turn on the title action save and put it somewhere here and you can duplicate this control D and move it here I'm gonna scale it even down maybe at 75 and 75 both both to 75 percent and I'm gonna make a, a design here right so let's create a text first of all and you can create a box which is uh, which is the same color like this one and draw a box around this name and move it below all the text layers and change this name to uh, black color and and grab the rectangle tool again disable the fill and enable the stroke to this color or white color whatever you like and a draw a box so all you have to do is uh, do some animation with this drag and drop this below all the layers here and what I'm gonna do is animate this name so select this rectangle tool and go to layer transform and center anchor point and hit S on the keyboard to bring up this scale and we're gonna animate this scale set a keyframe for the scale and make sure you uncheck this constraint proportion go to the first frame and set this to zero select all the keyframes F9 and if you play it back you have this so what you have to do is mask out the name so 
I'm gonna duplicate this control D and move and drag this name just in between that layers and change this to alpha mat that way it mask out like that all right so I'm gonna increase the stroke pixel to maybe around 5 and go and add a trim path like always and I'm gonna animate the values of the end to 0 0 set a keyframe go to the go to maybe somewhere here and set this to 100 select all the keyframes f9 once again and let's disable this all right so that's what you have maybe make it a little bit slower like that and I'm gonna drag and drop the animation preset for this uh, text once again maybe I'm gonna bring it down somewhere here and bounce uh, I'm gonna select this light from above right about here drag and drop this to our menu and you have this something like this all right once you're done with this let's drag and drop the background layer so I'm gonna duplicate this background one to background two drag and drop it inside and that is the background and all you have to do now is you have to go and replace this uh, food precom so this is food one so go to the project panel select this food one duplicate it so that, that is food two and if you go inside this food two you have an image of food one and you have to replace this food you have to duplicate this food image one control d and you can hold down alt on the keyboard and drag and drop it and it replaces this and if you go inside this food 2 image you'll have to this replace the you know full image of this all right so hold down alt hold down alt drag and drop it and scale it to fit the composition and if you go to food 2 and you have this I want to have some variation on the design layout so what I'm gonna do here is you know create a null object null object and you know parent this food one to the null object even the mask parent this to the null and move the null object somewhere here all right so you still have the same animation and what I'm gonna do is uh, select this layer and right click transform flip flip horizontal and you have the same you know effect and what I'm gonna do is select all these uh, text layers and move it to the left side here and you have the same so if you go to slide one you'll have to replace this food to food two which is this hold down alt drag and drop it and you have that all right so once you have all the design it's all about it's all about having some variation and replacing the images with another images and using the same background you know like for this example I just use the same background and if you if I want to change the image of this background I can just go inside this BG2 and replace all these so that's about it you know all right finally let's create a new composition to assemble everything together so assuming that you have all the layouts so I'm gonna rename this to final comp and I'm gonna extend this to 20 second hit ok and first we have the intro which is this drag and drop it the next is slide one move it somewhere here you can stack the design on top of each other and if you want to learn some more food promo intro watch this thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video take care